Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is take a look at how we can automatically generate speeds and feeds within 1CNC. Now for this example, I'm going to head over to the left-hand side of the screen. We're going to select Stock Toolpaths, and let's go with Profile. I'm going to grab the top of the shape up here, grab that upper arrow because I want a climb cut on the outside. I'll hit F3 to select the rest of the geometry, and then right-hand mouse click. Now within this first dialog box, you'll notice we have our fields for typing in the speed and our feed rates. Now in past examples, I've manually typed these values in, and you can certainly do that. But if you want 1CNC to generate the speeds and feeds for you automatically, you absolutely have to select a tool from the tool library. The reason for that is the tool library is going to hold information like the amount of flutes and chip load and things like that. And you can see that within this dialog box, there's no such fields for flutes and, and chip load in that. Now to get to the tool library, you can do that uh, in two methods, or there's two ways, and each way works exactly the same way. You can take your cursor and left click on the graphic, or you can left click on the tool changer here, and they'll do exactly the same thing. I'm going to left click on the graphic, and what we're going to do is select library, and from here I'm going to select the in mill subcategory. And from in here, you can see that we definitely have a load per flute column, as well as our amount of flutes and so on. I'm going to come down here and grab a half inch high speed in mill. And we'll click OK. And as soon as I do that, you'll see the speed and feed fields will highlight in yellow, or they'll flash in yellow. That's to remind us that the speeds and feeds are coming right out of the tool library. Now to make sure this is accurate, you also want to make sure you have the correct material selected. You know, what are we machining this part out of? Well, down here I have a stock material of aluminum billet, but watch what happens if I come over here and change this to something like, how about steel? I'll click accept to that, and the speeds and feeds change again. So I'm going to come back, I'm going to put this back to aluminum billet, and we'll click accept, and the speeds and feeds are calculated for you. And of course you can come back in here and make changes if you'd like. I'll click next, and finish, and there we go. Alright, so there's how you can automatically generate speeds and feeds within one CNC. Just remember that you have to select a tool from the tool library first. Also, you can come back and you can have one CNC generate speeds and feeds for operations that you've already executed. So for example, here you can see I have a facing operation, mill, and a drilling. Let's say I want one CNC to output speeds and feeds for this facing operation. Well, to do that, all you need to do is edit it. So I'm going to edit the operation, come down here and select edit operation, and same thing, just make sure that you grab a tool from the tool library. Let's uh, go with the uh, let's go with the facing tool. I'll select a 3 inch here. We'll click OK to that. And again, you can see the speeds and feeds are automatically calculated. Alright, thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.